we shall look at testimonies very quickly. Do we have the time to look at up to ten testimonies? Six testimonies. One, two, two, two. Okay, eight testimonies. Okay, sir. Hallelujah. This is Mrs. Grace G from Jaws. Good afternoon, sir and ma. I've been watching the live program since the lockdown on the 15th of this month. A testimony was read by the senior pastor of a woman with menstrual problem that was corrected as a result of watching Dunami's program. And the senior pastor prayed for her concerning the fruit of the womb. I claimed the prayers for myself and took the communion blessed by the senior pastor. On the 22nd of the same month of April, the senior pastor prayed again seriously for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I so much believed in that prayer and I took another communion with faith, trusting God that the month of April will not pass me by. To the glory of God, on Saturday, 25th April, I tested positive. <laughs> To pregnancy after two miscarriages, Hallelujah. I pray that no more miscarriage oh, and this pregnancy oh, this will stay till nine true. months. Love you so much. God yeah. bless you. We love you too. Hallelujah. And the pregnancy is established. established. You take it to, to ten. Stay till ten. In we Jesus' take name. We take authority over cervical incompetence. That's we right. Take authority over uterine fibroids. We take authority over hormonal issues. Anything that will cause any miscarriage again is arrested. It's arrested forever. Jesus and every other person trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Your children are established Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. From Washington, good morning, sir and ma. I want to thank God for answers to prayers. A black cat beat me on my hand in a dream, even in New York, Can you imagine? of the night. And it manifested in tonsillitis, ulcer, some funny symptoms. I sent a prayer request concerning it, and the senior pastor replied, divine intervention in Jesus' name. I kept on holding to this word, to the glory of God, those symptoms and tonsillitis had gone back to hell, trusting God that the ulcer would take the same route. I appreciate you, sir. Ma, we pray for the same ulcer. Ulcer back to hell. Back to hell. Everyone with any arrow of mysterious affliction, every stranger imparted in your life, in your body, they return back to hell. Amen. Whole Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Testimony from Rose A. Good morning, sir and ma. I want to thank God for healing me of high blood pressure that was over 240. God forbid. Mm. And chest pain, sleepless nights since over one month. After the senior pastor declared on Monday, I received my healing. I have come to return all the glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To, to God be the glory. That's divine, the glory. divine intervention. That's divine indeed. intervention. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, let's see the next one. From Washington, D.C. Good morning, sir. Please pray for my uncle. My uncle has been put on a ventilator in the hospital in Washington, D.C. He tested positive for the coronavirus. And the doctors are saying that it is looking bad and he may not make it. His lungs are completely filled with water and they are thinking of intubating him. His entire family, children and mother-in-law also tested positive as well. Himself and the mother-in-law are admitted, but he has been moved to intensive care unit. Please help me. We need a miracle. Thanks and God bless. That was a prayer and after, then this is the testimony that came out. After the prayer, after the prayer. Praise the Lord. All is well. My uncle is fine. At almost two months hospitalization, fighting COVID-19 over. Whoa. My, hallelujah. My uncle has officially been taken off the ventilator. He was on it for three weeks. Listen. Well, according to what we heard from the UK, US, I'm sure that God has intervened. Mm. That 80% of those who went on that ventilator didn't come back, out of, come back from it. And this one was there for almost a month. And the man's uncle, meaning he's not very young. He's not very young. All he's right, not go very ahead. young. And so he was on it for three weeks. Three weeks. Three full weeks on the ventilator. Now, when they took him off the ventilator, he was not himself. He was almost losing his mind and was still testing positive for COVID-19. Hmm. But as of now, he's stable. We have taken him from the, I they have they taken have from the ICU into a regular ward. He's no longer positive to COVID-19. Hallelujah. Everyone and the doctors are amazed because with his pre-existing conditions, now you That's can right. imagine at that age, wow. um, they said, they said he, he shouldn't, shouldn't have, have made it after being put on the ventilator. Awesome God. But thanks be to God, he's alive. He has started talking. We are so happy and excited. This is a huge testimony. Thank you, Senior Pastor, for all you do for us. Even when we are thousands of miles away, God bless you and your family. Amen. Hallelujah. This is blessing. awesome. What this a mighty, awesome. mighty, mighty this God awesome. we serve. He is faithful. Now, this is from Canada, Dr. Ephraim. He said, Senior Pastor, good morning, sir. I want to appreciate God Almighty for the testimony he gave to me and my family. 
I sent a text message to you, sir, that my wife, who was one of the frontline health workers fighting this pandemic, was tested positive of COVID-19 in Canada. But thank God that today she was tested negative of the COVID-19 after having an encounter with the senior pastor in the dream of the night. Hallelujah. Tested positive of COVID-19 in Canada. She and one child had an encounter in the night and the next day tested negative. negative. Hallelujah. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. God is awesome. You know, Amazing. faith comes by hearing and hearing by yes. the word of God. Uh, our people are think that we can uh, cut some of these COVID testimonies based on our touch points. Let others look at it. And because um, for many, they think that COVID is dead sentence. Mm. All right, it's it is not. not. And even it's the not. stigma of it is not necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. All right? And so let it be clear to people that God is still at work today and people are getting saved.